Good morning. How y'all feeling? I said, how y'all feeling? Yes, that's what I like to hear. I wanted to get us started first with just a couple of deep breaths so we can arrive here right now. Does that sound okay with y'all? Cool. So wherever you are, enjoy your comfortable seat. Perhaps you'll choose to close your eyes. I will do the same. And I invite you to find just a couple of warm, deep breaths. Noticing your feet on the floor and the earth supporting you. Noticing your chair holding you up. Perhaps on your next round of inhale, you can expand the belly unapologetically and sigh it out. I invite you to lengthen those exhales. And we'll take three breaths together to round off this short mindfulness practice. Deep inhale, let it go. Beautiful, two more just like that. Inhale, let it go. One more, just like that. Deep inhale, let it go. When you're ready, I invite you to wiggle your fingers and toes. Perhaps you flutter your eyes open. Perhaps you find a stretch in your body that feels good. How y'all feeling right now? You feeling okay? Have we arrived here? Does anybody in the house like spoken word poetry? Yes, okay, then I would love to share a poem with you. This is called Women's Equality Day. In the future, it will be Women's Equality Day every day. So we don't feel the need to wait for justice, wasting time while we are told to measure our waistlines to fold ourselves neatly to fit into boxes to take up less space so that someone else can feel bigger in this place. Why is it that vocal fry in this body is considered unprofessional while Obama's vocal fry is respected? Why does society often look down on single mothers when they look up to single fathers? When I raise my voice and say what I mean, without fear or apology, words raining down loud and clear like a deluge after drought. I put out wildfires and grow wildflowers with my vocals, making even the most prickly cactus bloom. And yet is my thunder heard as confidence or does it scare folks due to its prominence? can't count how many sound systems have gone unplugged, sound systems overturned when I open my mouth to speak for fear of the power of this woman's voice. And yet I amplify, I resonate, allow the winds and the echoes of this hallowed space to carry me, to carry we, for this is a movement and beats and beatboxes and breaks that cannot be stopped. Feminism, to me, is just a way of overcoming patriarchy, a system that affects all folks, asking them to play gender roles that are not one size fits all, breaking down the binds of toxic masculinity and toxic femininity, binaries that bifurcate our complexity, for we are not just human doings. We are not just human doings. We are human beings. And too often, the rigidness of gendered boxes tell us who we should be, rather than embrace the dynamics of who we want to be. I, for one, am tired of running into glass ceilings, being driven off of glass cliffs, and sometimes, quite frankly, just walking on glass, expected to take on more while being paid even less, from the mirror to the meeting room, from the office to the home, faced with such harshness while expected to show tenderness. Some of us, called essential workers, are not even being paid enough to cover the essentials, while others make essentialist arguments about a woman's place. Sometimes the glass begins to crack beneath our feet when we try to jump the pay gaps within our industries. Sometimes our backs begin to crack under the weight of Supreme Court rulings about which row can wade in the water of our wounds. Dear Natal Salmon, 
it seems we have come full circle, spawning, swimming upstream, trying to grow freedom flowers from the scraps of this American dream. And I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired and of stereotypes blasting over what I have to say. But perhaps today and every day to come, we can know that it is Women's Equality Day and the work for equality, not just for the people, but for all the people, is today, every day. Tak, tak Samika. Give it up, we're gonna have a wonderful day. Give it up for yourselves.